Hey, hello guys, so welcome to this video. This video is a super video uh, where we will do the comparison about three services AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud. Okay, these three are the most popular services, uh, most popular clouds. And thanks to Mr. Simon uh, Old Dog, uh, even refer their link. It is maybe they, they are available over uh, Twitter. Uh, they have given fantastic uh, review. Okay, so so this we are going to discuss today. Like what are the different services called in different cloud? Okay, and you know that all the services are basically used to be same, but with the different names. Terminology is different. So this is much much limited terms. And please see the complete video and get the details. So let's start without wasting much time. Now, AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud. Okay. Now, available region is AWS region and zones. Okay. Here, what you say, AWS region and zones. Here, Azure region and here, Google Compute region and zones. So things are same. In Azure itself, there is nothing zone. You can say there is only Azure. Region. Then, if you are looking for a server, so it is compute services. Here you say EC2, Elastic Cloud Compute. Okay. Now here, in Azure it is virtual machine, and in Google Cloud you will say compute engine. Okay. So if you say this, this, or this, all are same. App hosting. You only need to host any application. You will use in AWS. Plastic bin stock. Here you will use Azure Cloud Services. Okay, so if if you want some similar services of like Plastic bin stock, you have here Cloud Services. Okay, and here you have Google App Engine. Google App Engine. So with the App Engine you can run. Okay, serverless. Here it is says AWS Lambda. Here it is Azure Functions. Okay, so Lambda or Azure Functions are same thing. And here you say Google Cloud Functions. So in Azure in GCP it is as Cloud Functions, and here it is Lambda. Okay, this is serverless container. Okay, so Elastic Container Service. Elastic Container Service. Here you say like if you are working on Docker. Okay, so here it is ECS. Okay, ECS uh, in AWS you will find. And uh, here it is Azure Container Service, and here it is Container Engine. Okay, so here it is almost same in AWS Azure uh, with just the name like Azure here, and here it is Container. Engine. Okay, so ECS is very popular, and you can use it. Okay, and Azure and GCP you got the same search. Scaling option here it is auto scaling. Here it is Azure Auto Scale. Here it is Auto Scaler. Okay. No further. Object Storage. So here you will find S3. Here it is Blob Storage. Okay. So this is very confusing. Like what is this? So here it is Cloud Storage. So if you have to go to Cloud Storage, then you can create the S3 bucket. Here it is S3 bucket. You probably already know. And here it is blob storage. So with the blob storage, it is same, like right? your bucket. Okay. EBS here it is EBS, your hard disk or volume kind of disk. Here it is managed storage, managed storage. Okay. And here it is persistent disk. CDN, if you are looking for CDN solution, here it is CloudFront. You know. Here it is Azure CDN and here it is Cloud CDN. Okay. SQL database option. So here you have RDS. Here you have SQL database. SQL database. Same to like SQL Server. Okay. So here you have SQL database. Here it is Cloud SQL. So same thing. RDS, SQL database or Cloud SQL. If you are looking something for DynamoDB, here it is DocumentDB. In Azure it becomes document db. So now 
calculation comes. Okay, so if you are looking some solution like Dynamo DB, you have to record that in the format. Then here it is cloud data store. Uh, cloud data store, I don't know how you will find it. Uh, but yes, you need to relate it like cloud data store is for Dynamo DB solution. Network, here it is VPC, here it is virtual network quite simple in SEO and here it is cloud virtual network. So terms is basically adding cloud. Private connectivity you are using direct connect here it is express route. Okay. So direct connect here it is express route and here they called it cloud router connect. Cloud connectivity they have they have traffic manager. So don't get confused like what is traffic manager? Traffic manager is nothing it is a route router. Okay, and here it is cloud DNS. Simple. Log monitoring, they are using cloud monitoring for log monitoring. Right? Cloud trade. Here they are using Azure Operational Insight. Typical, but yes, you need to understand that. Azure Operational Insight. And here it is cloud log. Simple cloud log. Performance monitoring, here you have CloudWatch, here you have CloudWatch, there you have Application Insight. Okay, again, don't need to get confused, here it is Application Insight. In replacement of CloudWatch. And Google, believe me, it is too difficult, like it is Stack Driver Monitoring. Okay, so Stack Driver is basically your CloudWatch. Okay. I am simple at uh, AWS. It is I am only identity and access management AWS. Here it is cloud identity and access management. No much difference. But here, if you go, it is Azure Active Directory, where you have to create all your users and tools and all such things. Okay. So, then uh, administration done. Compliance. So for compliance, like if you need to keep, if you want to keep your keys, etc. So you can use Cloud HSM there. Okay. Uh, here it is Trust Center, and here it is Google Platform Security. If you have reached to this point and you find this video interesting, request you to please subscribe and share this channel. You can also support this channel uh, by donating some amount on your on the Paytm ID or maybe on the PayPal ID. Uh, any amount will be helpful uh, and will be useful to run this channel. Okay. So that will be great. So now let's move further. All the things are into this given into description. So if you want you can check the description and you can help this channel. So now for the analytics tool you know that Kinesis is very popular. So you can use Kinesis uh, in AWS and if you are looking for some similar kind of application in Azure and GCP, uh, think about Stream Analytics okay, in Azure and think about Cloud Data Flow in Google Cloud. Then Automation, Ops Work, all it do for AWS Ops Work. And here it is AWS Azure Automation and here it is Compute Engine Management. Management services and options, right? Like Azure, uh, like Cloud Formation where you can create some template, right? For infra writing infra as a code. So here it is in Cloud Formation. Okay, here it is Cloud Formation. And here it is resource manager. Here it is the resource manager. And here it is cloud deployment manager. There is a ARM you used to see in Azure. And here it is cloud deployment manager. Notification, it is PubSub here. PubSub in Google Cloud. Here it is SNS and here it is Azure Notification Hub. So there is Pub sub is available there. Load balancing, you have elastic load balancing there. Uh, load balancer for Azure 
and here you have cloud global balance. I hope you find this video useful and this is uh, has some handy information for you. You can refer it right. Hopefully you like it. You can show your love as I said by liking and sharing this video with others and you can support this channel as well. Uh, you have all the details in the description. Thank you. Bye-bye.